so basically hpa1c is your three month average for uh, that is called as glycated hemoglobin uh, that tells what has been your average control of sugar for the last previous three months so now what is the importance of hpa1c See, there are different trials, different studies which have uh, implicated that HbA1c should be kept very tightly controlled, or you know, uh, less than 6.5 or 7. But majority of all the randomized controlled trials and various studies universally, globally, have found that HbA1c of 7 has been good enough in controlling your complications for diabetes in long run. That is evidence of or uh, and incidence of diabetic nephropathy, neurop- neuropathy as well as you know retinopathy so as your age advances as the number of years of diabetes advance the incidence of uh, uh, and prevalence of all these diabetic complications have been found universally everywhere but various studies have shown that once your hp1c uh, target has been kept tightly controlled under 7% uh, these incidence prevalence and subsequent future uh, complications regarding diabetic complications have been found to be on a minimum scale. So henceforth, universally it is found that hp one targets less than 7% have been found and implicated to be, uh, you know, uh, having a very good uh, control for diabetic complications. So universally 7% is the goal, but yes, age does matter. So for individuals above 70, 75, the target has been revised and uh, we try to keep it close to 7.4, 7.5%. And uh, as and when, the diabetic uh, complications start. The, tar- uh, the targets for uh, diabetic control uh, are henceforth shifted. So, uh, universally, seven percent is uh, defined as the universal goal for uh, HbA1c control. Yeah. So, it's a very important question. So, what is a myth? Uh, are cho- all chocolates, all uh, sweets, bad for your diabetic control? Well, here's the answer. So. Not all chocolates and not all desserts are actually found to be bad for diabetic individuals. So, yes, definitely we should be setting whatever target goal for uh, our consumption for chocolates and desserts according to our HbA1c and sugar control. But consumption of chocolates and desserts in modest amount, occasional, has been found to be no much deteriorate, uh, uh, you know, causing no deterioration in your diabetic controls. And uh, what kind of chocolates uh, can be eaten? So it is predominantly the dark chocolates, uh, which are found to be actually beneficial with their antioxidant property. And because of the content of flavonoids, uh, they have been found to also be reducing incidence and prevalence of cardiac disease and hypertension. But not all chocolates are found because of the problem that chocolates have predominant predisposition in deteriorating your cholesterol metabolism. So for all those diabetics who are very borderline or equally well controlled, consumption of moderate amount of chocolates is justifiable and has been implicated in various studies and uh, European and uh, American studies. But what kind of desserts is another question. So not all desserts are suitable for every diabetic, but yes, those that contain more content, uh, contents of proteins and fibers and uh, in the form of nuts, they have been found to be you know uh, good enough for uh, any person uh, suffering from diabetes to have uh, no deterioration in the diabetic and sugar control. So what kind of desserts can be taken? So they, these desserts are those containing yogurts, those containing proteins in the form of nuts and uh, overall chocolates in the form of dark chocolates can be taken on a modest amount by everyone who is suffering from diabetes. But the target for your uh, consumption of these desserts and your chocolates has to be revised according to what your glycemic control is and what it is desired at your age. So you need to cons- uh, cons- uh, be counseled by your dietitian regarding what quantity can individually be taken. But yes, in uh, modest amount chocolates, particularly dark chocolates and certain kind of desserts can definitely be taken in uh, by all diabetic individuals.